be learning how to use a program called the Geometer Sketchpad to draw all of our basic instructions on the computer. To launch this program, you will need to go to Start, All Programs, and locate the folder called Sketchpad. Inside, you'll find the Geometer Sketchpad. Once the program is open, you will find on the left-hand side that you have all the basic tools you'll need to draw your basic instructions, such as the point tool, the compass tool, and the segment straight edge tool. Now, say we want to draw, suppose, an angle. Now, we could draw an angle two ways. We could click on the line segment and click and drag your mouse to get one of the lines. Or, we can use the point tool and place a point down and connect the two lines using the select tool. And you select your two points and you construct a segment. Now, to find the angle bisector, for instance, using a compass and a straight edge, you would first draw a circle, which you can draw a circle using the compass tool. You will draw a circle extending out to any distance you'd like. From there, you would draw a circle at the intersection points of the circle and the line. This will give you your point that you'll place with the point tool where the line bisects the angle. And to draw that line, you could either use your line tool and select, say, a ray and draw through that point, or you could use your select tool again and with the two points selected, construct a segment using the construct command up here, or you don't have to use the segment, you could also construct, say, a line. However, a faster way to bisect an angle, you would simply draw the lines using, say, the line tool or the point tool. You can use either one. Now, a faster way, instead of drawing circles to bisect this angle, would be to select one line, your point, and the other line forming your angle, and you can go to the top where it says construct and select angle bisector. Now, this bisector will adjust as we adjust the angle. Another construction that we could draw using this program is parallel and perpendicular lines, and it'll be much faster using it. Um, you start with drawing a line, and you will need to place a point for the line to go through. So, if we're going to draw a perpendicular line, we'll click our select tool and select this line, and that point will go to construct at the top, and we can select a perpendicular line. And as we move this point, the line will follow. However, it will always be perpendicular to this line. Now, if we want to draw a perpendicular line to this line, we will just have the line selected and this point, and we will construct a perpendicular line. Also, this program, if we place another point there, we can use our select tool and select this line and that point, and we can draw a parallel line through that point. And that will always adjust, but be parallel to all the lines. The best way to truly learn how to use this program the best is to just experiment uh, with all of these tools and shortcuts and see how much faster it is to use this computer rather than using a compass and straight edge. And I hope this video helped you. Thank you.